it's Binky doing something a little bit different today. So every year Lay's does this contest called Do Us a Flavor and for people outside of the U.S. Lay's is a potato chip company here. Maybe you're not one of the most known ones but um, it's big here and they had this contest where they have people submit ideas for new potato chip flavors and they choose four of that batch and then they make small bags of them and they put them out to the public and then people vote and it's actually a brilliant marketing idea because it does get people involved and they they do sell these things it's pretty smart so thumbs up to you ladies i don't know if they do that in other countries but they should if you want to get people excited about mass marketing here but last year's winner was wasabi ginger and <clears throat> excuse me to be honest it was really really good i love it though people are saying the flavors are kind of boring um cappuccino was just Ooh, like a stale bad churro, but um, wasabi ginger I still eat is so damn good. But anyway, this year's flavors, I have to be honest, I don't know if I was necessarily as interested in them because I'm not really a big meat eater, so I eat fish and chicken mostly, um, just for my own personal preference. And so they have these flavors, which are Greek Town Euro. Well, usually euros are lamb, and I never have had lamb, so I guess I'm going to today, well, at least a flavoring of it. New York Reuben. You would think I would eat these all the time, because I live in New York City, but I actually have never had Reuben because I don't eat much meat like that. If it was chicken, but it's not. I don't even know what's on it. Sorry. And then Southern Biscuit and Gravy, which I've actually been to the South, um, but I don't really eat a lot of gravy, but I'm sure it's delicious. And then the one I've been waiting for, which is the West Coast Truffle Fries. This one I'm actually excited about. The other ones I'm kind of like, ah, oh, the Wavy Gravy, I don't know. Oh, it's not Wavy Gravy, I'm making up stuff. I think that's another company. But Southern Biscuits and Gravy. So I think I'm going to go from the least anticipated to the most anticipated. So let's start with the Greek Town Euro. I have no idea what to expect. Um, yeah, it doesn't really tell you what it's about, but I think it's pretty much there. It's uh, going to be lamb and sauces that make Greek food what it is. It doesn't really have much of a scent. It kind of has like some of those like seasonings that you would find in cubes. It kind of smells like that, but let's see. So it's just a regular chip with some flavoring on it. It kind of smells like those chicken cubes that you use for soup stock. Okay, let's see. Oh, wow. Um, it's kind of unfair because I don't know what a euro tastes like, but this kind of tastes... Okay, I don't like blue cheese, and it kind of tastes like a chickeny blue cheese. It kind of also tastes like sweat socks a little bit, and I'm not kidding. It kind of has this um, old cheese and sweat socks taste. Yeah, my cat's spazzing out in the background. Yeah, those are my headphones. Okay, let's try another. Let's try another one. Yeah, it tastes, it has like this old cheese taste. So when you first taste it, it's very salty. And then it has like this um, old sock taste to it with cheese. Not that I know what that tastes like, but if I was going to put it into a potato chip, old socks with old cheese, it would be the um, Greek Town Euro. I think it's kind of almost like a blue cheese taste to it mixed with some kind of chicken stock taste. I don't know. I really don't know the taste, but if that's what a gyro tastes like, I don't feel like I've been missing out. That's just me. You may like it, but it really has an odd aftertaste, like sweat socks. So I'm going to move on to the New York Reuben, which is my second least anticipated one. Um, there you go. I don't really know what it's in a Reuben, but I'll put it above once I find out and do some research. Okay, this one smells a lot better. Um, it actually kind of has a ketchup smell to it. So when you open it, it's like a ketchup potato chip, which may excite some people because some people put ketchup on everything in the U.S. That and ranch. But let's see. So it looks like a regular potato chip. Sometimes they'll do the kettle chips or the wavy chips. Um, this one actually doesn't have any like seasoning on it. So let's see. Um... 
this one has a really light taste to it. I mean, a really light taste to it where it really is kind of nondescript. Like the other one had a really strong flavor. But this one is a very light flavor. Um, to be honest, it doesn't really taste like anything to me. It tastes salty with a hint of almost ketchup on it. So it's kind of like ketchup, which is just kind of odd. So I don't know. If you're looking forward to a New York Reuben, I don't know. I think you're going to be disappointed. You're going to have to come to the city and taste it for yourself because you're not going to capture the essence of it here, I feel. Because honestly, just tasting it, not that I want to eat the whole bag here, it tastes like a tangy ketchup on a chip, which just I don't think that's encompassing of the Reuben sandwich, considering I think it's like pastrami that looks like coleslaw and things like that. So a little disappointing. So now we're going to go to the dirty south, and I mean that in a good way to all you southerners out there. Um, southern biscuits and gravy. So it's really big. If you're not from the U.S., basically southerners are big into, like, they make biscuits, and they're big into gravy, and they put gravy on everything. I've been to restaurants where I was, like, you know, after eating southern cuisine for three, four days, I was kind of like, I, I, I don't want anything. I just want grilled chicken. And they're like, you want gravy on that? I'm like, no, I don't. You want cheese on that? No. You want gravy on No. I just want grilled chicken because it's, the food down there can be really heavy and uh, they really love the gravy down there. And there's nothing wrong with that, but for me, it's just, it's a little bit much after a while, but it's really good. I have to say Southern cuisine is quite tasty. So I'm curious how they're going to capture the biscuits with gravy, which is a big deal down in the South. Very big deal. That's kind of a nice, you know, it's a nice flavor to it. What's interesting is it almost had a floral note. I know, which is kind of scary. Mm -hmm. Violet potato chips. So it has a nice scent. And it's actually like a normal potato chip that you see from Lay's. No seasoning on it to be seen, but let's taste it. Mm -hmm. You know... It's interesting because it definitely has spices to it. It's actually a really light taste, much like the Reuben sandwich one. But what's interesting, I'm trying to small, find a smaller one, is that it's actually good. I don't know if it's catching or like making me think of gravy when I eat it. It doesn't necessarily have a strong gravy flavor, but I can taste these flavors in the gravy. Like there's definitely spices capturing what you would put into gravy. And this one's actually really good. I was thinking, eh, mm -mm. I can taste a hint of rosemary. That's what it is, is if you like rosemary, these have a strong rosemary flavor to them. My cat is tearing apart my headphones. But we're gonna move on. So I have to say, I'm gonna give this like a thumbs up. Actually, the biscuit and gravy is really, really good. If you like rosemary, so it almost has, you know what it tastes like almost like at Thanksgiving time when you make stuffing, it tastes like stuffing. It tastes like a stuffing potato chip. I just need some turkey and I'm good to go. Yeah. Now on to the one that I've been looking forward to, which is West Coast Ruffle Fries. I'm from the West Coast, so hey, I'm really excited. These are all kind of for different regions, and this is my region, though I live in New York City now and have for a little bit, but still love you, New York City, but I'm a West Coast girl at heart. And I'm really excited. I mean, look at it. It looks like there's some truffle and garlic on there, so I think this one's going to be a winner. So you never know, though. You'll have to taste it to find out. So this definitely has a strong, strong flavor to it. And these are the, the waffle, they're not waffle fries, but they're uh, the thicker fries with the ridges. So, I don't know. I'm kind of glad last year they had kettle, the one who won was wasabi ginger and it had kettle chips, and I'm not a big fan of kettle chips. They're a bit too crunchy for me, so I'm kind of glad they didn't bring it back this year, though I love the wasabi ginger. And I've learned to love the um, kettle chips more, but this is nice. I like the ridge ones. They're good for dipping. So, yes, I just broke it. It actually doesn't have much of a scent when you smell it individually, but let's try it. Oh, wow. Oops. Daisy Lulu. That's the one who's been causing all the trouble in the background. This one, 
is definitely the winner. So the people who say, no, no, this one's the winner. Mm-hmm. I don't know if it's truffle. I mean, a little bit. I can taste the truffle. What I'm primarily tasting is Parmesan, almost like a Parmesan cheese and garlic with a little hit of truffle. And I love garlic and Parmesan. And add a little truffle. This, this is by far the winner. I'm going to call it, I called last year's winner, I called the winner, uh, the winner before as well. This one's going to be the winner this year, hands down. If I had to pick two that are probably the better flavor for me, you know, everybody has different taste preferences. I would say that the biscuit and gravy, second place, but the definite winner is the West Coast truffle fries. You have done me proud, West Coast. These are really good. I can see myself eating these as soon as I turn this video off. I have to say my least favorite was the Euro because of that weird sweat sock taste. And the Reuben just really, it wasn't bad, but it just tasted like a spicy ketchup, which is not what you're looking for when you're looking for a Reuben. I just think some of the flavors that they're going for are too um, extreme or too complex. How could you put a Reuben sandwich into a potato chip? You know, same thing with the gyro. There's just too much going on that it's just going to be a couple key notes, and then you kind of miss the whole, the whole idea of what the chip was. So I think Lay's, just in the future, you may want to keep it more simple. Because simple, like biscuits and gravy, even though it did taste a little bit like rosemary more than anything, and truffle fries... They're winners. Wasabi Ginger won last year, and it's just simple, and it got, you know, you could taste the different components. But these guys, I think they're just too complicated, and they didn't really work. But that's me. Um, I'm curious to hear what your favorite was. Um, good luck to the four finalists, and I hope you win your million dollars. I wish I could, but you're pretty much right up there with winning the lottery. It's just not going to happen because you read the boards and people get really upset about not winning, but everybody's putting in the same things. You can only have so many different combinations, but good luck. Um, I hope you grab a couple of these bags. They're about 99 cents to $1.59 and give them a try. It's definitely worthwhile. All right, until next time, see you later. Bye.